Terence and Tammy. One morning, Terence was being prepared for his day's work. Ploughing again today, Terence, said Farmer Finney. Again? I swear we seem to be doing it nearly every day, Terence exclaimed. Well, it is harvest time, chuckled Farmer Finney. As well you know, there are plenty of fields of corn to gather. Come on, let's get moving. He opened the barn doors. The sun was shining, but rain had fallen in the night. Careful how we go, old boy, Father Finney laughed. We don't want another bath in the river, do we? Terence giggled. Hmm, no, otherwise I would owe Thomas another snowdrift rescue. They chugged slowly along the road. It was muddy and full of puddles. Terence saw a car stuck in a ditch. Thank goodness for my caterpillar tracks, he thought sadly. Eventually, they came to the level crossing at Tory Wreck. They had to wait here for Mavis to bring down some trucks from the quarry. Percy was in the goods shed, waiting with a low loader. He whistled when he saw Terence. Good morning, Terence, he called. Morning, Percy, Terence replied. What's new on the branch line today? Oh, I've just delivered a new tractor for Farmer McCall, Percy replied. His fields need ploughing and he can't afford to hire out another vehicle all the time, so he's purchased a new tractor from the mainland. Terence looked over to where the new tractor stood on the low loader. She was smaller than Terence, painted grey all over and had wheels instead of caterpillar tracks. Two large driving wheels and two small wheels. She looked impatient and keen to be unloaded. I see, Terence said thoughtfully. Well, mind how you go, she looks ready for the off. No sooner had Mavis cleared the line than Terence rumbled over the crossing. He said goodbye to Percy and went on his way. Soon he was hard at work, ploughing fields and gathering crops. When the day's work was done, he was making his way home when he saw something whiz past him. Terence stopped suddenly. What was that? he exclaimed. He soon saw. Hello, said a voice. You must be Terence. Terence looked. There, right in front of him, was the tractor from earlier. Yes, I am, he replied. Good to meet you. My name's Tammy, she said. Nice to meet you, Terence said, unsure what else to say. He was rather taken aback by her energetic nature. My word, these machines around here aren't half slow, are they? Tammy said. You'd think they had nothing to do but dawdle about all day. Good thing you and me have all this road, isn't it? Terence now knew what he had to say. Maybe, but would you mind going a bit slower? Terence asked. I'm not exactly one for high speeds, and I've got this heavy load behind me. Oh, sorry, Terence. <laughs> or rather, old timer. Tammy laughed cheekily. What's wrong with going fast? It's so much more fun that way. Yes, but I'm not built for, Terence started. Oh, sorry, Tammy cut in. I've got to meet Farmer... McLeod, is it? Oh, never mind. I'll learn it later. Bye, old timer. And she zoomed away. Well, what do you make of that? Said Farmer Finney. She's not unpleasant, answered Terence. And she seems a willing worker. But does she have to go as fast as that? It's not all that safe going at her speed. All through the afternoon, as Terence went to and from the fields, Tammy would race past him, giving him a start. Once, she nearly accidentally forced him to swerve off the roads. Another time, she went so fast that he didn't see the crossing where a police car stood waiting and almost ran into it. She even tore past while he was being loaded full of hay. What is she playing at? Terence fumed in his barn that night. Tearing up and down the lines at that speed. She's liable to have an accident. She's young yet, Farmer Finney comforted him. 
She'll learn one day. But that day came far too soon. There was some urgent construction work needed on the harbour at Ellsbridge. The bad weather had caused some of the station's exterior to come loose, and now it lay about the beach. Tammy was willing to help tidy up the beach, so Farmer McColl let her. But remember, he said sternly, don't go fast, especially near water. But Tammy didn't seem to hear that last bit. She raced along the roads to the beach. When she arrived, she quickly set to work. To her credit, she did her task well. Fitted with a mechanical shovel and a trailer fixed to her rear, she picked up the debris and left it by a siding to be loaded into some trucks for Toby to take away. Even Daisy was impressed. She's doing quite a nice job of it, she mused. This is easy, thought Tammy. Only old fuddy-duddy catty tracks would make this take forever. She was unhooked from her trailer and heading off for home when it happened. Much too fast, she approached the shoreline. Too late, she saw where she was and tried to turn around. But it was no use. Water splashed all around her. She was wheel deep in the sea. Oh no! she cried. Help! Her motor was still dry, so she tried to move, but her wheel span helplessly. She was stranded. Luckily, Daisy's driver was nearby, and he ran towards the telephone box. Terence and Farmer Finney were just about to start their journey to the fields when Mrs. Finney ran up. There's an emergency at Ellsbridge Harbour, she exclaimed. A tractor went too fast and rolled into the sea. The tide will be in soon. Toby is waiting up for Farquhar to take you there. Right, thank you, my love, said Farmer Finney. He turned to Terence. Come on, old boy. You can guess who that tractor might be. We'll have to get her out. Mm, yes, mused Terence. A broad grin crossed his face. Now we'll see who's an old-timer. They found Toby waiting for them with a low loader. We'll get you there as soon as we can, he said determinedly. As soon as Terence was on board and the guard waved his flag, they were off. They flew quickly along the line and soon arrived at the harbour. Toby shunted him into a siding and he was quickly unloaded. When Terence saw Tammy, he couldn't help but laugh. My word, you'd think Tammy had nothing better to do than dawdle in the water all day, he said to Farmer Finney. Good thing you and I have all this sand, isn't it? Farmer Finney laughed in agreement. Look, can you please get me out of here? begged Tammy. Terence, still failing to suppress his laughter, began his task. A strong rope was fastened between the two tractors. Tammy's wheels, still spinning, churned up sand and water, while Terence took the strain. His caterpillar tracks gripped splendidly on the sand, but it was hard work. He tugged and slipped and slipped and tugged. Once the rope broke and he was sent flying forward, so they replaced it and he tried again. He was determined not to give up. Their engines roared as together the two tractors tried to beat the oncoming tide. At last, the rope slackened as Tammy, wet, muddy, but none the worse for her misadventure, rolled clear of the sea. She chugged up to Terence as the men untied the rope. Thanks for helping me out of there, Terence, Tammy said quietly as they rolled along the lane. I'm sorry I was so rude to you. That's all right, Terence smiled, but it just goes to show, speed isn't always everything. A lot happens when you go slowly, you know. Oh, really? asked Tammy. Like what? Did anyone tell you what happened when Thomas ran into a snowdrift? asked Terence. Thomas? Who's Thomas? I've never heard of Thomas, said Tammy, confused. Ah. Well, let me explain, said Terence. Terence and Tammy are now good friends. 
Terence is always kept entertained by Tammy's antics, and Tammy always seeks his help whenever she needs it. But from that day to this, Tammy has been a lot more careful about going at high speeds. I think she is wise to do so. Don't you?